guys. So today you and your teacher are going to create this awesome kindness village. And to do that today, we're going to need a few things. So you're going to need some markers. I used neon highlighters because um, I wanted mine to be super colorful. I have a Sharpie or a black marker. Um, you're going to need a piece of paper, a printable template that your teacher has, and you'll need to go ahead and color it before we start cutting on it. Okay. Then you're going to need a pair of scissors and a glue stick. Okay. And what you're going to do is this awesome template has solid dark lines and then it has dotted lines. So you're going to cut out, you're going to color it first. After you color it, then you're going to cut out these solid lines. Okay. On the dotted lines, you're going to fold those lines. Okay, so say that with me. Solid lines I cut, folded, dotted lines I fold. Let's try that again. Solid lines I cut, dotted lines I fold. Okay, one more time. Solid lines I cut, dotted lines I fold. Now, when we fold those lines, those lines, the white that I have here, is what you're gonna put glue on, okay? And I'll go step by step through this with you and show you exactly how to do that and how you're going to fold it and attach it together. Okay, so let's get started. I've colored mine um, and I actually added funky different windows to mine um, and a door on the back just because I wanted mine to be different than the template. So you can do that too. You can add cool designs in here. It doesn't just have to be solid. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and start cutting with sister scissors. Now when I cut with sister scissors, lots of my friends know about her and she only talks whenever she that someone's not using her right, okay? So scissors stay below the nose. Scissors stay below the nose, right? You only open your scissors when there is paper in between. So I don't open my scissors and walk around like this. I'm gonna keep them closed. I keep them pointed down if I'm not using them. And then I open them up when a piece of paper is in between them, okay? I'm gonna cut and cut. I do not cut the dotted line, right? I'm only going to cut the solid lines, okay? And some of these are kind of hard to cut. So if it's kind of hard to cut, you just leave it there, okay? And then you can come back to it. Now what I like to do is I like to leave my elbow on the table or the desk. And I like to move the paper. So that way I'm not moving my scissors around. I leave my elbow on the table and I let my scissors stay where they are. And I just move my paper to cut. Right, that's so much easier than having to move our scissors around. So I'm going to try my best to keep my scissors in the same direction they have been. And then I just move my paper around. Right? Okay. So I'm not going to cut this out completely just to save time. I'm going to just cut out that much just to show you for now. Okay? So I have cut this little part out. You can cut the rest of the way. Do you see this little chunk here that I left? I'm going to go back and cut that out now, and it's so much easier to cut it out now than it was a few minutes ago, right? I'm going to pull it out just like that. Now these white pieces have dotted lines, so what I need to do is I need to fold them. So I'm going to fold them over, I'm going to pinch and pinch and pinch, and then I'm going to use this top part of my fingernail. I'm not going to use the tip of my fingernail. I'm going to use the top part, and I'm going to press it down against the table and pull it towards me. When I do that, it makes a really, really nice crease, okay? And so I'm going to fold again. Oops, I forgot to cut that. See here, there's that little solid line that keeps going right there. So I'm going to fold over. Pinch and pinch. I'm going to sit my fingernail, the flat part, down against the table and pull. I'm going to do the same thing here. Fold over, pinch and pinch. And then I'm gonna sit my fingernail on the table and pull, right? So then I have this one here, fold it over, pinch, pinch, pull. And I have this one other little flap. I'm gonna fold it over, pinch, pinch, and pull, okay? Now you're gonna keep doing that. And these white pieces are what you're gonna put glue on, okay? So I'm gonna show you right here I'm going to open up Cousin Glue Stick. Now, Cousin Glue Stick was in the military. And Cousin Glue Stick doesn't like to roll his hair out very far. He likes to keep his hair really, really short because in the military they keep their hair really short. So, 
And if you roll Cousin Glue Stick's hair out really far, like this, and you try to use it, do you know what Cousin Glue Stick does? He says, not today! And the glue just comes off. All of it just comes off right here at the top of this white piece. So we really don't want to do that because that's wasting Cousin Glue Stick's hair, right? So we're going to keep it really, really low. See? See how low it is? Really, really low. And then I'm going to be super easy because this is Cousin Glue Stick's head, right? I'm just barely put a little bit of glue, just a little bit of glue, onto Cousin, onto the house, right? Now, this is Cousin Glue Stick's hat. When you put Cousin Glue Stick's hat back on it, it clicks and says, thank you. So Cousin Glue Stick says thank you. Right? So, then we're going to, it's already kind of going and doing what it's supposed to. But with this house, then you kind of just touch these white flaps to the closest thing there is. Okay? You're going to touch the white flaps to the closest thing there is. So, and your teacher might need to help you with this. But, see, so like this is the roof piece right here. I'm flipping it over. And I need to hold it for just a few seconds and press down really, really hard. Really, really hard. Right? And there we go. See? It has the roof here. Just like that. Now I'm going to cut out some more pieces. And we can keep talking while we're doing this. Now we're making a kindness village. So while I'm finished cutting this out, I want you all to think about a few things. I want you to think about some things that people say to you that are really, really kind. Or what are some things that cheer you up when people say them to you? So, like, when someone tells me, like, stops and asks me how I am, and they actually stop walking, and they want to listen to how my day was, oh man, that makes me feel so great, right? Because I know they care enough to really know about how I'm feeling. Right? Or what about when someone tells me that I'm super smart? Because sometimes I don't feel very smart. Right? Or when someone tells me that I'm really, really artistic, that makes me feel really great. I'm like, yeah, I worked so hard on that. It makes me feel awesome that someone recognizes that, right? So what we're going to do today is we're going to make a door. And this door is going to have a flap on it, right? Just like doors do. They open and they close. Whoop! I was not using Sister Scissors right. So, um... I'm going to make sure I use her right from now on. But when we, doors, they open and close, right? And on our kindness village, we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to keep our doors open, right? Just like Mount and Miss Simone's rooms are always open if you all want to listen, and I'm sure your teacher's rooms are too. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach a door. That's why we have this white paper here. Or you could even use some scraps here if you wanted to. Um, but what you're going to do is I'm going to make my door orange, okay? And I'm just going to color a rectangle. Now, when I color this rectangle, then I have to cut it out. Okay? And I'm going to think about what kind of nice things people say to me. And what kind of nice thing could I write on this door, on the inside of the door, to let to remind people that to have a good day, right? Or just to be kind. So I'm going to fold this in half, and then I'm going to color the outside as well, right? Now, the back of the outside you don't have to color unless you just want to, because that part's going to be glued onto your house, right? And then I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to write something kind inside. I'm going to say, you are smart. Okay. Now when I do that, I'm going to use Cousin Glue Stick again. And I'm going to keep his hair short. Okay. And then... I'm going to glue this door right onto my house. I'm going to press down really, really hard. Really, really hard. Right. And then when I open it, it says, you are smart. Then I can close it, open it. You are smart. Close it. Right. So I'm going to finish assembling my house. And you all can do the same. 
can't wait to see these awesome little villages that are going to be all around the school and your all's classrooms. It's going to be so amazing to see the great things that you do. All right. So um, I can't wait to see it. And I hope that maybe like your teachers get involved too, right? Because we always want to encourage our teachers because art might not be their thing. And just like math's not my thing. So if your teacher is doing this with you, make sure that you, you know, get behind them and you tell them that they're doing amazing and encourage them and be so excited that they're doing some kind of artistic thing with you. All right, guys. So have a great time and I'll upload a picture of this when it's done. Bye, guys.